Hey all you meddling kids, it's your girl Pammy Chanel back with another video. On June the 2nd, Amazon Prime will be releasing a documentary on the Duggars and the religious teachings that they follow from Bill Gothard and his Institute in Basic Life Principles called Shiny Happy People. And I'm going to watch it and then give you guys a breakdown so you don't have to watch it if you don't choose to. Kind of got to try to do the same thing I did with the Gloria Vale series, but it just kind of depends on how they actually lay the documentary out, whether it's just a straight up documentary or whether it's like breaking up into episodes. Now, speaking of Gloria Vale, I kind of, the way the Duggar series was presented to us is kind of the same way that the Gloria Vale series was presented we only got to see the good stuff. And I've always had questions. Now, I watched the Duggars back when they first had their first special in 2004. As a matter of fact, I was pregnant. And I also had two kids under the age of two while I was pregnant. Or maybe under the age of three while I was pregnant. So I was having kids back to back. But I stopped at three, thank God. But I've always had like some questions. But before you guys go and watch this documentary and even before I make my um, video response to it, I want you guys to remember that the Duggars and the Bates are the upper class in this religious organization. The Duggars have been able to, because of their television series and the amount of media attention they got, they're pretty much the poster child or family for um, Bill Gothard's whole organization. And there are a lot of families that are different sizes with different financial situations. Some may not be in the best financial situations and they have chosen this lifestyle. And I'm hoping that this documentary, even though I know it's going to focus on the Duggars, we already see uh, Jill Duggar um, and her husband, uh, Derek, in it. And we also see the Holt family in it, if I'm not mistaken, I think that was Bobby and Jim Holt. And I think I saw Anna Duggar in it as well. So we already know it's going to be kind of Duggar centric. But I want to make sure that they have gotten stories from some other people. One of the things that I, in my digging into the Duggars, and I never really covered the Duggars because I felt like different um, YouTube channels like Without a Crystal Ball and Down the Rabbit Hole and um, tough topics they really do a good job in getting in detail getting information that you know I down here in North Carolina probably wouldn't be able to get so I never really have covered the Duggars but I wanted to do a video on them being that I was around when their first special came out and I actually kind of tried some of the things that they did with my kids and I realized why it didn't work but there have always been these questions that I've had, and I'm hoping the documentary covers a couple of these. So one of the questions that I've had is Jim Bob's past. I'm very skeptical of his family situation with his mom and his dad. I've heard rumors about how Mary Duggar really kind of pushed them into writing all these people and getting all this free stuff and getting on on television and his father is always casted in a negative light like me and my father did not have the best you know relationship growing up but I would never put my father's dying moments funeral all of those type of things on display for the world to see I wouldn't want people to see my father in his final stages of life suffering being wheeled around in an office chair I thought that was very very cruel so I really want to know what's the deal with Jim Bob's dad. What's the deal with that relationship? What was the struggles that they were having going growing up financially to make him have this animosity towards his dad? And I don't see how they were so much, you know, they could be, they were financially, you know, strapped, but they were able to put their children in private schools. So I'm really questioning, like, what, what's going on there? The second thing I want to know, Michelle's family. We've all heard that she has a sister who is a lesbian. But what was their family dynamics? I know in the 
maybe second episode, first or second episode, I'm not sure. She had her sister Pam and her husband with them. And she spoke about how it was kind of two separate families that the parents had one set of family during one time. And then by the time they became adults, um, they had their next set of, of um, children. But I want to know what the dynamics was. You know, Michelle has said they weren't very uh, religious and she loves to brag about how she mowed, her, you know, her lawn in a bikini. So I really want to know what her family life was during that time. Also, am I the only one that feels that Michelle was kind of like a victim because of the fact that she was so young when she married Jim Bob? She really didn't have a chance to really experience, you know, life as an adult woman versus being a teenager. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. I also want to know about Gothard's origins. Like we have the basics, but like what was his family dynamics growing up and why is it that he seems to have this patriarchal somewhat hatred towards women to where women are you know can be a victim but it still be their fault like I said I also want them to like recovering grace is a great website to go to to read about other people but i'm hoping that they cover other stories outside of the Bates and the duggars i, I really want to know that and finally before i end this video the biggest thing i want to know about jim excuse me jim bob and michelle but um about the basic institute and in life principles how much money are they bringing in per year? Because it almost has a Scientology feel because you're having to purchase books and, you know, get all of this stuff. Now, some stuff is free to, to download, but it's a lot of books that you had to purchase back in the day in order to be a part of the program. So I have a lot of questions. I'm hoping the documentary answers it for me and I can just kind of review it. If the documentary does not, I've already started to kind of dig and... I really, really want to um, be able to answer these questions for you because maybe you guys are just as curious and nosy as I am. One more thing. I saw on a um, Without a Crystal Ball video that there possibly is another documentary coming out that she may be involved in. If you guys have heard about that, let me know um, because I definitely want to be on the lookout for that when that one drops. Maybe that one will be even more detailed. But I am, like I said, I'm looking forward to this documentary to, that's coming out on June the 6th on Amazon Prime. But like I'm very, very skeptical about the people who are giving us the information from this documentary. I really, really worry that it may be just something that's glossed over. And this particular cult, because that's what it is, frightens me to the core. Because I can only imagine how many victims we have both male and female victims within this organization. So like I said, be on the lookout for my review of the um, Shiny Happy People documentary sometime next week or the week after. And until next time, guys, if you like these videos, please like them, hit that like button. If you like the content that I'm making, come on over here and join the family. We would love to have you. And until next time, stay nosy and stay meddling. Bye guys.